VIP visit. So we have the guy coming for the vegetable sushi, and we also have the tuna day as well. It's pretty important that we actually capture some tuna today. I hope I don't get hit by a large-tailed shark. We're going to buy the steel net sensor traps, because... Yeah, that's how we capture tuna. Do I bother? Actually, hold on. We can also capture a, uh, use an underwater scooter and a lure capsule. That's cool. For a certain period of time, it's ineffective against aggressive fish. Huh. Underwater scooter. May as well. It's 10 money. Pretty easy. Auxiliary item slots are full. No worries. Let's go diving. Okay. So our plan this morning is the same as yesterday morning where we <laughs> intend to find those more colorful, that school of more colorful tuna. Let's see if they are around. Yeah, I think what happened yesterday is that it was a stormy day. So the whole the ecology of the place changes for some reason. And then we ran into that really dangerous shark. A weapons upgrade. Oh no, I still have my rifle. I should have swapped out for a net gun. Oh well. Shock harpoon tip. Maybe we'll find a net gun around here or a hush dart. Actually, we'll pick up that orange seashell. Brown? Brown seashell. Thought it would be orange. I think that's a weapons crate up here. It is. Hey, there we go. We got a net gun. It's a small one instead of the medium that we usually have, which means we only have three ammo instead of four. That's okay. Not the end of the world. Oxygen. More eel. I want that sea urchin. And here are those colorful tin tuna. Let's pay attention to their path here. It looks like they're doing this diagonal. Yeah. All right. Oh, these guys are dangerous. Hang on. Let me get rid of this. Red lionfish. Um, this red lionfish, we need to get rid of him as well. And then we'll place the trap. Oh, we got two of them. Perfect. And, hang on. Are they... What's going on here? Okay. Did we actually capture two of them at a time? That's incredible if we do. Yellowfin tuna. Oh, they missed. There we go, we got two of them. Perfect. Okay. That worked out swimmingly. I have an ammo box over here, and we actually have space for another item, so let's check out what this is. Watch out for the more eel. A sleepy toy hammer! My favorite melee weapon. Can we hit the tuna? Maybe we can put him to sleep. Okay, I don't want to get too close because he hurts me. And there are sharks and whatnot. Put this guy to sleep. Ow. Okay, never mind. We just killed him. That wasn't worth it. Um. Oh, actually, you know what? You can catch him with a net. There we go. Got that guy. Now, the big shark. Oops, I missed. Yeah, the shock tip is awesome. You know, it's interesting. The shock tip is nice. The lightning tip is good. Um, the others are alright. At least more damage doesn't hurt. Oh! We did put him to sleep, but we can't actually catch him. That's so cool. Sleepy toy hammer is amazing. Now we are looking for... Are these the guys we need? Harlequin Hind? It is! There we go, we got one. Oh, I'm totally missed. There was an ammo box up there. I'm going to go grab that real quickly. Real fast. Okay. 
catch that other harlequin hind. And then we just need to keep an eye out for coral trout as well, because we can make our tropical fish uh, dish with them. Got him with another fish. Is this coral trout? I honestly... This is a grouper, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think that's our coral trout. Coral trout is more reddish. Not taking the golf club. Oh, and we always do have the sleepy toy hammer as well. Um. Okay, we'll deal with this saw shark. I need oxygen, actually. If I get hit in this fight, I'd be in a bad spot. Hey, if I run out of oxygen, because we used the drone to capture those tuna, I would think, logically, that they've already been captured, so we wouldn't lose them, right? I don't know. Game mechanics-wise, it would make sense for us to lose them, but, you know, for you know, reality's sake, we're not carrying those tuna on our person, so... Does it make sense for us to lose them? We have to be rescued. I am... Oh, yeah, we'll hit the pufferfish. Once he calms down, there we go. Okay, we'll get him eventually. I am running out of oxygen. Alright, maybe we won't get him eventually. Uh, oxygen, sea urchin. That's not oxygen, that's rope. Rope and sea urchin. Soy sauce. Okay, buddy. Yeah. I'll try a little bit more. There we go. Worth it. Starry Puffer. Weapon. Starry Puffer Poison Sack. That's used for upgrades. There's our oxygen. And Shock Harpoon Tip. I already have one of those. We'll disassemble it for fragments. We also need these guys. Let's go grab him and then we'll head back to where the Harlequin Hind are. Oh, rope. Thank you. Ah, perfect. I, uh, I'm just going to capture these guys as is. Won't bother trying to put them to sleep. Mm, right. And the invasive species stuff as well. Get some progress towards that. These guys. Get out of here. <laughs> I love the idea of mining ore with a squeaky toy hammer. Doing anything with a sleepy toy hammer is fun. And. Alright, we'll pick this guy up, check out what's in the weapons crate, and then we'll head back over. Don't need it. Oops. There was an ammo box, which is why I was willing. There it is. Why I was willing to use those nets on those little guys. We use the long distance scooter for going the long distance. I'm just gonna grab this little guy. Mind. I thought he was a guy we could catch with a bug net. What was wrong? Okay, I did get one of them. <laughs> I was like, I missed them both again. Alright, this guy is going to dive at us. Oh, I got hit anyway. I think I can move out of the way in time, but... I failed. Oops. We wanted to register what key was supposed to press. Alright, we took care of him. Chop him up. 
I think we have a ton of long nose sea shark meat. Part of behind, where'd you go? Is he went down here. Also see this guy. Barracuda. Oh. Hey, nice. Make progress towards that. There's another shark that we want. Do we want that shark? Maybe not. I do have other things I'm hunting right now. Best. Yeah, the coral trout is the other thing we really need. Really want, I should say. And of course we want to find that boat. The cargo boat that we're... Uh, that has our crowbar. We need that crowbar so we can go through the glacial passage. Hey, Rizzo. Go coral trout. Perfect. I only have one net. Got one of them. I do have a toy hammer. Let's try it on the, this guy. Hmm. Big shark. If I stay still, is he afraid of me? I won't pick it. Okay, get this guy out of the way. Oh. Try again. There we go. Grab a shrimp. Why not? And an ammo upgrade would be nice. Okay, he's swimming towards me. Oh no, he swam around. Oh, I swam away. So if I run over here. Squeak! Yeah, we got him. Nice. Squeak, squeak, squeak squeakers. Yeah, I don't think I want to deal with the big shark. We don't have much carry capacity as it is anyway. Although I could get rid of some stuff, I'm sure. Do we need to go down this way for the boat, though? Maybe we do. Might have to swim right past him. I'm going to leave that oxygen in there just in case. I have been feeling a little bit low on oxygen recently. Like, we don't seem to be finding it everywhere. So I'd rather have a, something to return to if need be. We're in a dire situation. Hey. Always happy to see this thing. Now, it's not down here in the depth, so we'll go back up. I probably need to go to the left and then down. Oh yeah, it's right there. I missed it. Here, chase this guy down. Back here. Squeak. Oh, there's more up there. Squeak. And I, I do have my nets, so I could just use the net on them. Alright, doesn't want to fall asleep. Sorry, buffer. We have a few hits. I got poisoned. Dang it. Were the starry puffers worth a lot? I don't remember. Come back. I need you. Oh, we got both of them. Perfect. Still have another net we could catch a starry puffer with. I. Yeah, we'll head in here. Sure. It is certainly a place we want to go. Oh, more coral trout. Perfect. Oh, I didn't catch both. Dang it. Squeak. Oh. Haha, 
<laughs> oh. He's not falling asleep. Oh. That scene. I want that Harlequin hide there. Uh, there's the crowbar. Okay. And there's ammo too. Perfect. Oh, there it is. Cobra's crowbar. But it's buried under the rocks. I need to remove the rocks. I can do that. Watch this. One rock at a time. Oh, I see. It's blowing blue. We specifically have to move them over here. Uh, Crabs! We haven't made anything with crab. Oops. Looks like I aggravated a colony of crabs. Aw, oh, they look ferocious. I need to deal with them to pick up the crowbar. Can I use the net on them? No, I cannot. Oh, this they're doing Mario music. That's so good. Not action Mario music, but I would definitely say this is reminiscent. Um, is this wait? Auger? No, this is. Pro I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know much to something. I can't seem to hit them though. Oh, I need to drop rocks on them. Of course, makes sense. Uh oh. Got one. Oh, those guys jumped. Hi. Oh. oh, I'm slow, that's why. Let's drop something. Sally Lightfoot Crab, four kilograms for one meat. Well, we'll hold on to them because they seem to be a rare find. I can get rid of the red lionfish. Oh, this one's only one star. Let's get rid of that one for sure. Two stars. Yeah, get rid of these two star guys. That's a three star. And then we need get rid of another thing. This long long nose shaw sharks aren't very exciting to me. I may as well grab the oxygen here. It'd be very embarrassing if we died to these crabs. That was a tough fight. Let me pick up the crowbar and go up. No, no, no. I want to pick him up. Yeah. Sally Lightfoot crabbed. Grab that crowbar. Oh, wiggle it. Let's move in one direction. We got it. Good. This must be the crowbar that Cobra mentioned. Why does it look familiar? Oh, I don't know. Let me get to the boat. Why does it look familiar? Hmm. Maybe because it's you see it in every hardware store you go into? I don't know. I oh I'm missing it up because I use tried using it on the crabs, right? There is a shark here. Now Harlequin Hind, that's what I'm here for. And there was another one around. There we go, there's two more around. Oh a hammerhead shark! Oh <gasps> have we fought him before? I don't think so. Alright. Oh, Scary. Jeez. Okay. All right. I don't know if I'm ready to fight that. Probably need a proper gun. And I missed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no! Ah. Uh. Oops. My bad for turning around. Um. No. 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 We're not gonna go up with just a blue seashell. Wait. What? Okay. Uh. What do we grab? The uh, reef shark head is probably the most valuable thing. Oh, all of our harlequin hind and coral trout? No! That's so sad. Uh, starry puffers, titan trigger fish. Just double checking, but I think we'll take the white the head. Black tiger shrimp. Well, we won't find out what dishes we can make with those crabs. So be it. That was my fault. White tip, we not the meat. The head. There we go. Okay. Uh, now we're going to find out, do we get to keep those tuna because we used the drone? I did that for science. It was on purpose. 
Is he gonna tell us? Yeah, it'll tell us after we catch our breath. Oh, that's the one I ordered. So happy. So you take this to the rock, insert it between the cracks, and pull it hard like this. Then you'll be able to take out the rock. Nice. I'll be able to move the mirror with this. That's good. Since you're here, why don't you check your gear? And don't forget to stop by Bancho Sushi. Why Why do I need to? We'll do it. But. Uh, white tip reef shark. Okay, yes, we did get it. 36 meat of each. Oh my goodness. Um, Why does it show... Oh yeah, okay, so different... I get it. So Akami Chutoro and Dotoro or Utoro. That must be different parts of the fish, I guess? I don't know anything about cooking. At all. I don't know anything about seafood. I, I know less about seafood than I do about cooking, actually. Let's go to this, the restaurant. Good old vegetable sushi. Alright. Quickly, let will feed Momo some fancy food. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can increase our cookster app. Our cookster rating. Feed her some high quality cat food. Here we go. Let's check the cookster. So, what kind of lunatic throws away trash in the ocean? Puffer fish skin contains a lot of collagens that are good for your skin. And, okay, back to that. Okay, rank up rewards. Oh, hold on. What's best taste? 232 out of 250. We don't have enough happiness? Oh, no. I guess I've just been paying attention to the amount of money that we make with the foods. I should probably make it pay more attention to what's actually uh, highly regarded, I guess. Huh. Research recipes, 20 out of 19. I didn't realize that was a requirement, actually, for ranking up. Okay, best taste is something we need to worry about then. Sorry, just double check, though. If I go click it, it just tells me the rewards. Wasabi max, cooking slots, interior items. Okay. Hmm. We do have mail, apparently. Movie news, a giant crocodile. What is this? A giant crocodile in the sewer. Hello, this is Movie Wonder. The weather's getting a bit chilly. How about a creepy horror movie? What if a giant mutant crocodile appeared in the sewer? Experience realistic horror on the big screen. Alligator. And it's a robot alligator crocodile. Alligators and crocodiles are different. Hey. Um, not sure why it's telling us that. Was that made by Michael Bain? Music, Eco Watcher. I think we did do a couple things here. The invasive species, at least. Oh, okay. No, we need more Titan fish. Titan trigger fish. So, staff is telling me to check something with the staff. Oh, yeah, we can train them. Is it worth training right now? I think so. Nothing new to do here. So, training them. Definitely worth training Mackie. She gets a big increase. Bam. 470. And she's got a little bit of appeal now and procurement but the appeal i don't know if that matters for cooks or only for servers but something uh el nino is level four only 442 to train him a little bit more yeah let's do that so serves drinks perfectly we can train him some more what's he get oh yeah here we go Clean up the messy seats quickly. Yeah, here we go. That's a useful skill to have. And train him again. Go up to 482 from 440. That doesn't seem like a massive increase, actually. Raptor has a lot of appeal, apparently. I could train Raptor for some more speed. Wasabi refills. Mm, Raptor's pretty good. Mackie's kind of our star cook. El Nino's our star server. Oh no. What was Tohoku's other skill? We haven't seen it yet. But he doesn't get a massive increase to cooking. I feel we can probably find a better cook than Tohoku. In fact, let's go... Um, sorry. Back out. Let's send out another internet ad and see if we can find somebody else. Itsuki ends up... What, what are her details again? Serves drinks and charisma increased permanently, so a lot of appeal, but... Not the greatest. I guess serving seems pretty good. 932. I don't know where El Nino caps out at. But that's also at level 20 for Zuki. Hmm. And serves drinks doesn't mean serves drinks perfectly. So I I am actually I feel this would be a negative to have her on the team. Yeah, and Yusuke was a cook. 850, not bad. Cooking ability, increased number of plates. Um 76. 
More items through dispatch is kind of an interesting skill to have. Is that really worth it? 814. So this guy is meant to go out on dispatch missions. Should I get him and train him a little bit for those? Not really. We're doing fine on ingredients. So I'm going to put on another internet ad. We'll see who shows up tomorrow. Maybe we'll find a better cook. Hiring has begun. And... Okay. Cobra specifically told me to go visit Banjo. Food with a high taste score will increase customer satisfaction. Never stop learning. Alright, so we gotta find a high taste score for our foods. Got it. Guess that's all there was to do here. I did want to go to the farm though. Let's check that out. Perfect, he planted some more rice. That's what I like to see. And we can afford some seeds now, so... What could we buy? Garlic seeds. As it's vulnerable to extreme heat or cold, it's usually cultivated in temperate regions. It is commonly used as a spice for its unique sensational flavor. I guess carrot seeds, wheat seeds, eggplant. So we already have some carrots and eggplant, right? Bread and noodles. Let's buy one of everything. Let's buy... There's space for six things, I think. Buy 34. Oh. Uh, let's, let's buy two of everything. I meant to. Just to. Oh, I, I see. We'll put some wheat. Yeah, we won't be fitting in one of these things. I'll put one eggplant and one of the other garlic. And then we can water them. Nice. Refill our watering can and head back. Time to go dive. So, <laughs> um, actually, we're not going to dive. We're going to the Sea People Village because we do have a crowbar now. I'm glad we kept those tuna. We have a lot for when people show up tonight. Anything to do in the shop here? No, just a lure. And I don't need to sell anything. I dive wrap. Actually, what are we looking at for these? 4,500 for a harpoon upgrade. Air tank I could increase. That would maybe keep me from dying so easily. Good back. Sure. All right, let's check out the mirror, go to the sea people. It's time to find out what's further down in the glacial passage. The frozen passage. Uh, oh, we've got a person over there that wants to talk to us. We'll call our blue friend. Or this might be the task board. Oh, task board is empty. Oh, Gumo, you have that farm ready? That was quick. Oh, human, the seaweed farm is ready. I see you got some seaweed seeds. Want to try planting them? Did we get some seaweed seeds? How did we get those? You can cultivate many different seaweeds at Gumo's farm. Seed breeding is available at Kajin's Seed Shop. Seed breeding? Huh. Um, all right, so Gumo's farm. I talked to you, seaweed farm. Oh, seed shop. He's got a seaweed shop as well. Sea grape seeds, agar seeds, kajime, kelp, and seaweed. We do find these things all over the place, but sea grapes are pretty valuable. So we could buy some of those. Seaweed farm, oh, they can cultivate. Seed inventory, seaweed seeds. Ah, there you go. Figured it out. So we'll just buy some regular old seeds. Sea grape seeds seem pretty good. And the farm, plant those. All right, pretty cool. Nice, thanks bud. We appreciate the help. Let's go check out the seed shop and see what's up with breeding seeds. And then we'll head back up. Uh, seed shop right here. Hey bud, seed shop, upgrade seeds, what? Extra harvest, 30%. Oh. Okay, so it's going to take three days, I guess? Huh, 
All right. Well, that's pretty neat. Does he have a different seed shop? I imagine he has the same seed, right? Yeah. Pretty cool, though. We can go to Mimas for a speed upgrade. That's okay. Maybe that would be a good idea. Oh well, too late. I'm going in blobfish. Have we seen a blobfish yet? Not sure. Oh, I forgot to change my gun again. No, okay, hold on. Let's, can we go out? No, we can't go out. Ah, dang it. My bad. This is a place we would absolutely love to be catching a lot of little fish with a net gun. What is this guy? Well, I should pick up that rock. He's near the crowbar from Cobra. Um, all right. Wow, it takes a lot of hits. Oops, wrong guy, my bad. There we go. Wow. Vampire squid, right, right, right. We caught that. I don't know why I was forgot about it. Just did that yesterday, I think. Um white shrimp. Maybe a couple days ago. Okay. I oh. right click. There we go. Oops. Alright. It is unjammed. Amazing. Divine tree fruit has unbelievable energy. It just melt that thick ice wall. It just melted? No, well, let me go down again. Ah, it's too cold, by the way. I could kill for a hot bowl of miso soup from Bancho Sushi. Are you serious? Go to the bottom of the glacial passage. Okay. How do we get miso soup? I want miso soup. Oh. Scary. Ow. Go ahead. Ooh, this is a dead end too. I'm almost there. I should check the surroundings first. Got him? Alright. Pelican eel. Uh, only one star because we did kill him. Man, I wish I had my net the neck done. That's okay. I'll remember for next time. We'll capture these guys. Dumbo octopus. Never heard of that. Oops, you have a picture spot I only just noticed. Too busy catching fishies. Alright, Squid, it's your turn. Wait. Is this a blobfish? We found a blobfish right here. There you go, there's a secret. Get him into the ground. You don't get the animation. Speeds things up. Holy cow. Blobfish can take a lot of hits. What the? Unless we're not dealing any damage at this point. That might be the case, actually. Okay, get him again. Alright. That took some work. Two star blobfish. Brand new. Vampire squid! Oh, not okay. quite. Um, well, I'll take a picture while we wait for him to come back out. <laughs> it's cold here and the lens is collected frost. Mm. I need to clean the lens first. 
push the right button to defrost. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> nice. I don't know if I need to do the whole thing. Probably not. But I did. Uh, the mural in the... There we go. We got it. Back here, little squid. Oh, he just dodged it. Okay, all right. We'll grab some oxygen. I do have the ammo that I... Sh I guess I could have used to speed that up. Okay. We'll run through here. Hmm. Okay, more puzzles. But now we're using mirrors. The ice wall is blocking the way. I think I can melt it using the Divine Tree Fruit Device. Oh, do I need to go out there and shine it in here? Is that the idea? Or did I just misunderstand that? No, 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 no. It must be a, a different device that's in this place. I didn't notice it. Oh yeah, it's right, literally right there below me. We need to find a divine tree fruit so we can put it in the device. Hey, look, a divine tree fruit. And I, I know we're going to want to rotate this. So it shines out there, 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 and then up here. we do that, it's going to close this, open this one. We want to somehow get back over here so that we can divert it and grab that golden statue. Those are worth 100 gold each. And we'll also turn this around. Oh, we have now melted that. I could... Hang on. I want to turn this one around first. We melt this thing up here, right? Yeah. Nice. The ice wall is melted. Let's go inside. And then we'll turn it back down this way. Turn this one back around like that. I'm not quite sure how we're going to get around this wall, though. Oh. No, yeah, no, I'm not quite sure. So great, we're melting that now. Apparently this wall does not go up all the way. I, I thought that was going to block us off, but it didn't. All good. Ching. some oxygen here. I could probably use the shift key a lot more. I'm uh, I'm definitely concerned about running out of oxygen, but in these places they seem to give a lot. Why do we need another ammo box here? There's a mural here as well. I should take his picture and show it to Dr. Bacon. Uh, we're going to ignore the Dumbo octopus for now. It takes a while. I guess I could shoot them with the gun. Good. Oh, another blobfish. Two of them. And now blobfish hunting. Two, oh, three times. And then I'll use the harpoon. I don't want to actually accidentally kill him. Okay. So three times definitely seems like the right number. Uh, 
All right. And I do have one shot we'll use on the Dumbo Octopus. Very good. Okay. Dealing some damage certainly helps. There's a vampire squid as well, I believe. Yeah. Now this guy is pretty tanky, so we'll shoot him three times. Perfect. Very nice. We can head back down this way. There's a little bit of oxygen. I'm okay. Yeah, increasing our tank capacity did help. For sure. Okay. Hmm. The mirrors here are not well aligned. Is there a way to align them? I. Uh, there might be. I'm guessing there probably is. Oh, ammo. So I'll turn this around, obviously. But yeah, I see what he's saying. They're not well aligned. It bounces off this one. Oh, I see. There's some way to move them around. Okay. Well, we'll start by putting the, this divine tree fruit in the machine. Power that up. Drop. And so we need to bring this one up and bring that one over. How do we do that? Grab this thing on the bottom. Oh, okay. Easy enough. And then if we go in here and turn it, it becomes a straight path, so I imagine there's more... Yeah. Have more mirrors over here. And from here, do we need what do we need? We want to bring this down and then that one over. wall blocking the exit has melted away. Now if I go past it, I'll find a door to the glacial area. Whew, this place is really cold. I could use a hot cup of tea, green tea right now. Hey, and the golden statue. I didn't notice that before. dark in here. This place is too dark to see anything. Right. I hit this fruit and it glowed. I should use this. It's kind of spooky in here. We're going to hit the fruit. It's going to glow and we'll see a whole bunch of scary monsters. Oh my gosh. I was totally right. That thing is nasty looking. Holy crap. Don't tell me that's King Long. That is frightening. Ah, oh, what is this thing? That Gadon is humongous. It's almost unreal. Oh, thank you. Thankfully, it's changed. Let me escape this place riding the current. Wow. So what happened? Like that? If it's a Gadon, and is massive. He's been around for a very long time at that size. Phew. That thing could, shouldn't be able to escape since it's so big. Now we just have to get out with this current. And I bet he breaks it. Yeah. 
Oh boy, giant get on. No way. I'm going to die if I get caught. Let's run away. Uh, Dave, you've died several times. <laughs> oh, oh, ah, shoot. <laughs> he is gaining on us. This is, uh oh, he's gonna lash out. We're good. Jeez. Is he going up? Oh, 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 ow. Directly in front of him. Falling icicles. Ah, I got hit by one. Ah, I got hit by another. Swim faster. Oh my goodness. Stay near the top. I guess the icicles have already fallen, right? Oh, not that one. That's 72. I have a bad feeling that we're going to have an issue here. His eyes are glowing. Something doesn't seem right. I think it's preparing an attack. What do I do? Blind it. Wait, that divine tree fruit. It hates light, so if it hit that. Alright, it was about here. Oh, he's got it. Nice. Well done, Dave. Which means, do I have to keep an eye out for more of those? Oh, okay. No, nope, looks like we got away. Oh, uh, it's a dead end. There's no way out. My goodness. Use the good on. Nice. Oh, he died? Phew, that was a close call. I think it fainted. A path opened up after we hit it earlier. Let's run away before it awakes. Wow. Oh no. Wait, he's climbing downwards. It's awake already. What a disgusting creature. Let's run this. Let's run away. Uh, I like how it's like a falling animation. Oh my goodness, he's so fast. Jeez. Oh. Yeah, I thought I'd gotten hit there. Oh, I got hit! Ah, oh, no! <laughs> oh, no. Do we restart right from the beginning? I can do better. I can do better. Nope, we restart from here, and I actually have full oxygen this time, so that makes it a lot easier. But I didn't do it all in one go. Oh. Like that, we escape. Huh. Did I lose the creature? What is this vibration? No, we did not lose the creature. I shouldn't let my guard down. The current is flowing back to the right. There should be a way out nearby. Let's run away before it awakes. Uh-huh. I bet it's awake again. Oh, man. These are thicker icicles, though. Hey, this is like a helicopter game. It's a browser-based game. It was, I think it was just called Helicopter Game. And, uh, you'd, like, click... Click to spin the rotors more. Oh, 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 I'm falling behind. Click to spin the rotors more so you go up, or stop spinning the rotors so you go down, and you had to dodge obstacles. It was pretty fun. And then a number of years later, the guy came out with Flappy Bird. Ah, there's light. I'll be able to escape that way. Flappy Bird is kind of the same thing. I pr oh, rescue. I did prefer helicopter game, though.
I managed to escape. I must barricade the entrance before the Godon comes out after me. Good, now if I nudge that pile of stones. Do it, Dave! Alright, why what makes us think that this pile of stones is gonna stop him? Did Suwam just save us? Bees. <laughs> Our hero. Swamp. Hey, humans are not that trustworthy. You would have already been eaten by the deep sea fish were I not there for you. I admit it this time. Thank you, Swamp. Aha. Well, go and find out what's happening in the glacial area as you promised me, human. Uh, I didn't imagine this place would be this cold. I'll freeze to death if I go down further. Oh, you helpless human. You don't have any gear or clothes to protect your body from the cold? Well, I must first return to Cobra and ask him. He may have something to protect me from the cold. Well, we have no other options then. Let's return to the village. You see that huge mirror on the back? Activate it again and you will be whisked away to the village. You pull the right lever. I'll pull the left one. What are you doing? Grab the lever on the right, human. Well, that was an event. All right, we pull these levers at once on my signal, okay? I didn't see the signal. Sorry. Ooh. Interesting runes. Good. Now we can access this place straight from the village. Go back to the village and find a way to withstand the cold, human. Humans are so fragile. This is something unthinkable for a superior warrior like me, Suwam. Your tail has been shaking for some time now. Are you really all right? What, what are you talking about? You're clearly, clearly mistaken, human. Let's return to the village for now. Achoo! Uh, I, I guess Krill went up my nose. Oh, you came. How was the glacial area? Um, there was a huge Gadon in the passage, so... The glacial area is too cold for me to explore. I need something. Ah, you're ill-equipped to explore the area for sure with your light diving suit. Our people wear clothes with divine tree fruits and can withstand the cold. I am curious, can your people tailor the divine tree fruit cloths? Tailoring? Cobra or Dr. Bacon may know how. You seem to have talented friends. Take this cloth and ask your friends. Hmm. Divine fruit tree fruit cloths. I need to tailor it into a suit. It may protect me from the cold. And 200 bay. All right. We're gonna make ourselves a new suit. So I guess we just go back up. I mean, 63 kilograms is fine. Just head back up to the boat. Oh, there you go. You can go straight from the mirror. Glacial area of the boat. Nice. Oh, it's tuna time. Vampire squid times nine. Dumbo, octopus, row, and blobfish row. Nice. So we'll be able to grow some. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, Pancho, I have a question for you. Not Pancho. Cobra. I don't know why I said Pancho. By the way, Dave, have you been making good use of your gun? Yeah. Yes, but I get less meat if I kill with a gun. That's often the case with the smaller fish. But with stronger, bigger fish, it'll be easier to weaken them a bit first. If they're weakened, they'll show changes like bleeding or swaying. Observe them carefully. I see. I'll have to consider the timing carefully. If you need good guns, you can craft them at Duff's weapon shop on your phone. Don't forget it. Um. Well, I got a question mark over there, so maybe we'll talk to Bancho about the idea of. Karen? He said he said Cobra or Doctor Bacon though. Maybe Doctor Bacon will come talk to us tomorrow morning.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, are you ready? Right on time. Have a seat. It won't take long. Fish in this, we're making vegetable sushi. That was the wrong cinematic. <laughs> I just throw it in the trash. No, I choose not to. Hey, that carrot? Yeah. Yes, this is it. it. The taste of this vegetable sushi reminds me of my younger days. Shut out. Your vegetable sushi is perfect. What's the secret? Mm. All I did was is seasoning properly. I also got some help from my acquaintances for the ingredients. And here comes our acquaintance. Uh, Son? What? Dad? Um. I wondered who'd eat something like vegetable sushi. I didn't know it was you. Huh. I heard people talking about someone who looks like you. That's why I visited here and ordered vegetable sushi. Huh. It's been eight years since you left home. You never contacted us ever since. Uh -huh. Well, it's a long story. There was a storm and I got shipwrecked on an uninhabited island. Hmm. It was just trees and the sea. Oh. I worked hard to get food and water. Oh. And sometimes hunted wild animals with a harpoon gun and roasted them. And then I completely <laughs> forgot how to get back home. I had to spend some years on the island until I got rescued and settled it here. Oh. What a story, Dad. Uh -huh. I wanted to visit home after securing a stable life here. <laughs> but it took so long and time flew. I'm sorry, my boy. Uh -huh. The folks at the village think you abandoned us, Dad. <laughs> my friends pitied me, and some mocked me. Yeah. I began writing music and singing songs to relieve stress, and I became a rapper. <laughs> my son has grown into such a fine young man even without me. I'm proud of you, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I blamed you so much at first, but the music healed me, gave me inner peace. Um, oh, since you're, you've come all the way here, why don't you stay at my farm? Shut up. Of course, like old times. <laughs> since you're all grown up, we can grab some beer together. Uh, I I'm gonna guess he doesn't have a mom. Otherwise, poor mom had <laughs> her husband and son both abandoned her. What a plot twist. That rapper was the son of Otto. I see. They have something in common. Both are quite talkative. Yeah, I agree. This is a good thing. Banto Sushi helped them to reunite. The two must have much to say. I hope they can resolve their misunderstandings. MC Sammy Vinyl Record. Cool. Deliver the food to MC Sammy. We did it. Yeah, it's kind of a strange... Um... Strange idea, right? Like, I understand, okay, you got... You got... Uh... Cast away, whatever. Stuck on an, an island on your own, but... Eventually he got out. We're not away from civilization here. It seems people know how to get to and from here. Could have found his way back to find his son and maybe wife. Um. All right, so Bancho, I don't think we haven't done. If you're low on seasoning, you can send staff to get it. It may take a while, so prepare ahead of time. Yeah, takes about one day. Ingredients, we don't need to check this. Interior, I don't have anything. Well, uh, we got some new stuff, right? Chairs, healing, etc. Calligraphy. I like calligraphy. The vinyl record on the wall? No, I like the calligraphy. Looks nice. Um, decoration plant. Oh, we're good with the decorations. And then nothing new to research. Today is the event day, right? Check conditions for increase here. What's the rating in the app? We don't have enough. Yeah, we still don't have enough best taste stuff. Eco Watcher, anything new on here? Nope, nope, nope. Okay, we already checked all this stuff. So, we're making tuna today, right? I'm like, I'm event B day. I'm just afraid I'm going to put a bunch of tuna out, and then it turns out it was actually tomorrow instead. Vegetable sushi, 375 each, pretty good. And it only requires some carrots and eggplants, so we could definitely make a fair amount of this. 487, whoa. But, today is tuna day. Hawaiian poke. Hawaiian poke or Hawaiian poke? Something like that. Mayonnaise. Oh, if we had more mayonnaise, we could make more of this. Six dishes. Okay. I didn't know that was a thing. Bluefin tuna dotoro. Dotoro? Or dotoro? Yellowfin tuna tiger. We're not using this tiger shark. We're using tuna tonight. 
So a lot of tuna dishes are available to us. That's good. We'll definitely put out this. And it's that. Unfortunately, we only have one mayonnaise. Too bad. It'd be nice to make a lot of those. Uh, this one, we can enhance it. Yeah. He's listening to some MC ha Sammy. Okay. And 11 out of 6. We could enhance this again. 180 on the happiness. Sure, let's enhance it again. And then put out 5 of those dishes. And what else do we have? A lot of yellow fin tuna otoro. Okay, we'll enhance this a few times. Out 10. Yeah, 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 sure. Not enhancing anymore, and we'll put out all of it, I think. No, we'll put out 10. And then what else do we have for tuna? These guys as well. Tuna Akami. I can enhance this. Sure. 11 of 6. Sure. We'll put out 5 of those. I like the div divisible by 5. Seems to be what I go for. Um, no, we'll enhance it. Enhance. And if I enhance it again, we'll have 5 remaining. Perfect. I'm putting out like all of the tuna. It's. I don't know how much people are actually going to eat. But we'll. Just use it all now. And 13 remaining. Nope, we can't enhance any more, so we'll go with 10 of those. I, I think we'll put only 5 actually. And then another dish down here. This guy. Yeah. Enhance it, please. We have 10 of those. I'll put out five of them as well. And that's it for our meals. In fact, we'll tell these guys to auto supply. Yep. And this one as well, auto supply. There we go. So we won't run out. All right. I think we're going to have a lot of food wasted tonight, but it's all about the experience for people. Also, training. Should I do any more training beforehand? Training for this guy does feel like a bit of a waste. Can't afford to train her. I can train Raptor, actually. Let's train Raptor. 350 over 310. Over 310. That's good. Also increases his appeal a little bit. Who doesn't want a tuna, uh, tuna served by Raptor? I think it's time to go. Let's do this. These people with the glows. Oh, that guy doesn't have a glow. Uh, I can serve. I can serve this. Yeah. I got the tea. Okay. Run over. Grab the wasabi. I have somebody's dish. This guy at the end. Lady. Lady at the end. I think. I have a spot to Any other... This is the pain. Running out of wasabi again? Okay, people are cleaning up their own plates, it seems. That's nice. I'm not bothered with the serving a drink, because I'm not very good at it. I have your food. All right, pretty successful eating. Yeah, we do have a fair amount of food left over. They apparently didn't want this one that we had six, we had ten of. But uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with how that went. Probably should have only put five of those. We had five of everything else. Well done, team. We got a decent number of likes, and we should have a lot of happiness now. I think we'll be able to increase our cooks to rating in the morning. Yeah. Oh, check conditions. Maybe not. 
Oh, we made 11,000. Holy cow. All right, sweet. 